Hello. Uh, I see your face coming on. Okay. Um, God was talking to me today that he wanted me to to talk about uh, from where God was talking to me in my home and what's uh, how I come to the United States and uh, I don't know if I have said that before or talk about it before but as God want me to talk about it it it's something he wants me to maybe I have forgot something that was important to say or it's in his will it's God's will always it's not mine and when I was pray, praying and talked to God before I started he reminded me what he told me the first time I was in the church in United States and I was preaching in a church in a black church and uh, I had a friend and she said oh you can't preach because you you can't speak English oh you you don't know the Bible you can't and you you have to write it down in manuscript what you are going to preach she she said to me and and I I uh, I, I was home and I I had a Bible at home and uh, and I uh, wrote down some uh, some some verses in the Bible and then I place it in in my Bible and then uh, my friend come and took me to the church and there was a church where she knew everyone and uh, in the parking lot before we go in he, she said no I'm so frightened yeah, I'm going to be shame of me because I put you, took you to the church. You can't, you can't preach, she said to me. And I said to her that God's promise is this. I knew the Bible without have, have reading it. I knew it by heart from God. And I say to her, God's promise is that if we only open our mouth, I will place the word, my words, in, on your tongue. That's what he, what he has promised us. So don't have any fear of preaching or speak out, because if you are chosen by God to speak, you should open your mouth. So that's what he reminded me of today. Because every time I go on online, I am worried, I'm frightened. I, I don't know what I am going to say. But but as God promised, he lay his words in my mouth. So, uh, and I, I have speak, I have been spoken about uh, how Jesus Christ come to my home and talk to me. And uh, then after he had spoken, there was a, a, a bright, strong voice that was talking to me about my future. Jesus Christ was talking about my childhood, the past, what, what had going on. 
in my life and that what I write I, I, I recording audio um, files about my life before God and that's Jesus Christ is it in that and uh, he answered me now and he said that those words that you are speaking there that's from me Jesus Christ is saying that no that's why I should do this about my childhood it's not waste in some churches they say that you should not bring up uh, the past but the past can also heal and also teach other people so it's right to bring up the past because uh, there is many people carry these things that have been in the past and it's like a, a scar that is bleeding the whole time inside that person and it must come up I, I, I have a PhD in a psychology so what I say it's what I have learn from experience and meet people that they will never be okay if they don't bring it up and take it out here and uh, look at it and say and, look, and sort it and clean it up and say that was a wrong thing or like that but it's better today I am much better today and look, look and be happy that you are going through these things and you come out alive so that's important why I do this about my childhood and that you understand why I was picked by God Jesus Christ was talking about me but it was God that that made the decision if I should be a tool, a vessel for them. It was not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my savior because he he was talking to God about me. So I I took the flight. I say I don't know how much my daughter have never asked about that time, but uh, I had to let her be with her father instead of me because because it was only about me what I should do it, I should not bring her with me that I did know and she was 15 years old and I don't know how much she heard from from God and Jesus Christ I know that she heard something because she she was crying to me and asked why no one was speaking to her so so she heard something and she changed also in that evening when Jesus Christ and God was talking to me they didn't talk to her that's why she was crying and uh, but she uh, went the next day and uh, sign up for the Swedish church uh, a youth group and she was not at all into God and she was a lonely person and after uh, after that evening suddenly it coming girls to her in the school and wanted to be with her so she had another energy after so she got something but she didn't hear, heard God I don't know no no but I didn't know for many years that she have never heard God 
and uh, but she felt something and she heard the voices uh, maybe not their voice voices but she heard me talking to someone in the air so uh, she maybe never saw Jesus Christ she never heard God talking but she heard me talking to someone in the air that's because she never did the walk that I had done she didn't go there if she had heard God talking she had not been in that place today where she is because she loved Jesus and she is in the church and she working for the church and she her life is about that church and she I can't talk to her about God because she loved Jesus so that's uh, split us up and then I uh, f took the flight to to United States and First, first I come to Seattle. I, I I didn't know when I started because I have written down. I say uh, see where I should take the flight to, and it was about United States that I knew. But I didn't know where in the United States I should go. So I write down every state in the United States and throw those paper on the floor. And then I pick up one and it says Virginia. And I, I didn't know the state Virginia. I had never heard about it. And then I write down all the big cities in Virginia and threw the paper down on the floor. And then I, that was, uh, it's not a witchcraft, someone say that now. But that's uh, between God and me because I was talking to God. And uh, I took up and there it was, Virginia Beach. And, uh, but I thought it was weird, so I, I took that away. So I sh should have done it. I should fly.